What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1082, sales analysis one, marked as easy. Let's get into it. Now this one is marked as easy, but don't let it fool you. It is actually a bit harder than you would think. That's why I gave a download on this one because I don't think it's too accurate. The problem itself is not too bad. We have a table called product, which contains product ID, product name, unit price. We have a table called sales, which contains seller ID, product ID, buyer ID, sale date, quantity, and price. So we have product and sales information. And our task is to write an SQL query that reports the best seller by total sales price. If there's a tie, report them all. Query result format should be the following, just seller ID as an output in our result table. So what makes this problem a little bit more difficult is the fact that if there's a tie, we should report more than one seller. It's not just the best seller in terms of total sales price they accumulated, but we want basically the best overall total sales price in the table and then put out all sellers that match that best total sales price. And that's how we're going to approach this problem. So we're going to find out what the highest total sales price is and then use that information to look up every seller, uh, seller in our table that matches that sales number. So in order to solve that first sub-problem sub of getting the highest sales price, we're going to select seller ID and the sum of price from sales. And if we group by seller ID, that should give us the total sales for each seller. Let's call that total price, maybe. And let's just run that for now to see what it gives us. So that works, we have seller ID 1, 2 and 3, and the highest sales are 2,800, and that appears twice. So it's a perfect example for us to, to solve that issue with having a tie. So if we order our table by the total price, we can have the highest overall total sales price on top if we specify descendingly. And if we limit that output to one, we should only get the highest sales price, which is a technique we can use for many problems where we only want to get one output, which is the highest in, a, in an order table. So we have our sell ID one, we have 2,800 as the highest sales price, and that looks pretty good, right? So what if we remove seller ID? Now we only get the highest sales price, which is enough for us to use that as a sort of lookup. So what we want in the end in our result table is seller ID that matches our high sales price of 2,800 in this case. So let's select seller ID from sales once again. And now we want to also get the total sales price of each seller and then check whether that matches our high sales price of 2,800. So we need to group by to be able to calculate that sum per seller and not for the entire table. So let's group by seller ID. And since we want to filter our output on an aggregate function, we're gonna to have to use the having keyword, not the where keyword, because where only allows us to filter on pre-existing columns in the table and not aggregations. And we're trying to filter on the aggregation of the total price being sum of price and since sum is an aggregate function we're going to have to use having and also have that group by seller id so we so we calculate that sum only for each seller so sum price which is the same thing we use down here should be the result of that subquery that calculates the highest sales price so Let's see whether that runs and what it gives us. We're only selecting seller ID, only using sales, and we have that lookup of the highest sales price. And that works. 
let's submit it and see if it is accepted as well. It is accepted. That is pretty much the solution for this problem. You might have some issues understanding having and why you have to use having over where. If not, that's great, but having is going to be used for the other sales analysis videos and problems, and I'm going to go through these as well. So if you're having trouble understanding having, I would recommend sticking around and taking a look at the other videos and problems. And I hope I'll see you there. hope it gets even more clear. And if you want to check out other videos, I also have a playlist on all SQL lead code problems that I did videos for, and you can always subscribe to get these in your sub feed. See you next time. Bye.